Hey everybody, what's going on? Dustin here with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today, for the second time in 2022, and also for the first time in that year as well, we're also going to be reviewing a uh, 2006 car. Car. Now, you possibly remember. Now, you possibly ask yourself, didn't you do a 2006 car already? Yeah, that was actually a Bush Series one. Now the new year came and gone, and this is also uh, one of my uh, Christmas cars as well. This is the uh, Jimmy Johnson and Low slash Sea World Internet Adventure Park from 2006. This is actually a special paint scheme. Now, if you want to talk about one of the most maybe a rare but a unique diecast car, this is one of them. You could try looking on this on eBay or Amazon all you want to, but guess what? You'll possibly never find it. I'm trying to get this car out from behind. This is the box that it comes in. This is basically one of them, uh, one of those clamshell boxes, not like the ones that we normally review. Everything you see is up here. Jimmy Johnson, number 48 low slash Speed World, Sea World, 2006 Monte Carlo SS. And it was a total production of 8,556. That's a lot. And drop that in there. Drop it back there. And there we go. All fixed up. Now this car, when I got this for Christmas, I was like blown away. It's really amazing too. And here's the front of the car. It's the uh, Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. And up on the hood, we got what appears to be a, if I'm right, it's a killer whale. I'm not a marine biologist in any shape, way, or form. I just do diecast reviews just for the heck of it. We also got these two, two lows up here. And we also have Goodyear Gatorade belts, Mug, Clevite, Pop, Edelbrock, Wix filters, and Sunoco fuel. The first set of contingency sponsors. And going back here, we got NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. Now, keep in mind, this is prior before Nextel switched over to a Sprint in 2008. So, you will see some a uh, few diecast cars with a, a NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. Maybe this year. Not going to bet on it. Not going to uh, make any speculation or heads or tails of it. And we have Bud Pole Award. We also have Commit. We have Mechanics Fair, Gillette, Autometer, EA Sports, Checkers and Rallies, Ray Bestus, USG, Holly, HP Carbs, and 3M. We also have a NASCAR race car up on the A pillar. And going back, we have Haas. We have Automation. We got Bosch Spark Plus. We have GMC. We also got UGS and Freightliner. We also have a SeaWorld Adventure Park below the exhaust pipe. We also have Quaker St. Hendrick Motorsports. We have the Amaro Organization. Yeah. And we also have this uh, nice other beautiful uh, killer whale right here. Now, I believe if you go to SeaWorld Adventure Park, you are given a... Uh, you're given the best treat to a uh, to a killer whale show. We also have Lowe's right here as well. And on the back we have Lowe's as well. We also have a Shamu, which I believe that's the uh, killer whale's name. I I've never been to a Sea World Adventure Park before, but I really want to make that one of my one of my best places to go to. One of the places I want to go to in the very near future. So if, any, so if anybody wants to let me know, know when's a good time to go there, let me know. And the other side's the same way. Also, we have have nice rolling wheels. Now, 
Unfortunately, we don't. We do not get a molded suspension. We actually do get suspension molded in die cast metal with some few plastic parts in there. You know, just for add-ons like the engines up here. We got the transmission, the exhaust, the rear, rear diff right here. We also got the drive shaft as well. But unfortunately, this car does not balance up front. There's actually a little, a little bit of balance up front too, which I really, really like as well. I can take. We also have opening roof flaps up here. We also have the opening trunk. This one goes up uh, almost up all the way. And if you actually do look inside, we do get a fuel tank in the uh, filler neck. We also got this uh, clear hose that's the overflow. Go ahead and close that down. Now the hood is actually pretty much easy to open. You gotta get your finger in there, lift up the hood. Here is the engine, which is room out, well assembled, well made. We also got lows underneath this underneath the hood as well. And we also and turn wheels. Now a huge noticeable detail is is you can actually see the steering wheel being turned inside the car as you turn the wheels. I can look at this engine all day and it still looks amazing. Do I actually like, do I actually like this car as a Christmas gift? I pretty much do. This car just Blew me away when I got it. I never had a SeaWorld car, but now I do. And I think this car will go great in my Jimmy Johnson display case. That's possibly one of the most uh, unique die casts I uh, ever received. From a friend of mine. Now I also got another one. It's from uh, recently a couple of years ago as well. But we'll look at, look at that another time. I think that's what will be all for this review. If you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more NASCAR diecast reviews. I try to publish these in the best way I can. Also, I am a Plan B Sales or Circle B Diecast affiliate. If you use coupon code Kruger at checkout for all orders, $20 or more. It's got to be within 20 or more range. And also type in coupon code Kruger at checkout. You will get free shipping. And when do they ship out? It depends on depends on how many orders they got or how many shipments they got. So anyway, my name is Dustin and I'll see you guys in another video.